15th, 2020. Just a quick checkup. Activity in all four hives. Let's take a closer look. Man, I'll tell you what. You wouldn't even know this left hand hive had swarmed twice in the past week. That colony is just thriving. I can't get over how powerful that colony is. I'm so stoked for these bees. And with the warm weather coming on, uh, I know I'll have to go back and have another look, but it might be time to throw another box on there and just make sure they got plenty of room. Because they are just bringing massive amounts of resources. And uh, I have to say, I'm still expecting probably one more swarm off this hive. Uh, given the queen cups that we saw in the inspection a couple weeks ago. And I just got a gut feeling about it too. I don't know if it'll happen today, that would be pretty soon. But uh, I would say probably maybe in the next week or so, I would guess. Uh, the first swarm that we captured was six days before the second swarm out of here, so that's a pretty fast turnaround. <clears throat> and that tells me those guys are still feeling, or, or at least were, still feeling a little crowded. So, uh, hey, that's, that's fantastic. That put our apiary back to four hives, and we still got a thriving colony over here, which should produce pretty good honey, I would think, if uh, the season continues in a reasonably good fashion. It's supposed to go to 82 degrees today so that's uh, that's a nice shift in weather from the, the cold and uh, misery we've had this spring on and off. And then uh, this is that other colony that I did the split on and then I uh, messed up introducing the queen on and then my friend from uh, Bob from Black Bear Apiary came over and helped me uh, drop that other box on top which had a couple of queen cups in it. I hope at this point uh, that queen should be hatching out soon I would think and hopefully she will mate. There's certainly plenty of drones around the apiary now. Hopefully she will fly out and uh, find a good mating spot and uh, find a good mate and come back and start laying. Uh, she get down in there at some point soon and have a look but uh, it hasn't been all that long, and I want to give her time to uh, do her thing. I'll probably open this up again in another week, or maybe two, and uh, see if we have a laying queen in there. But uh, nonetheless, the colony's thriving. They're pulling in all sorts of resources. They're doing well. They seem to be happy. Well, we're going to go on over to the, uh, the two new swarm capture hives here now. Of course, I'm going to stay low in a way this time so that I don't get stung in the face. I, they usually don't sting me. They're usually pretty chill with me, but uh, they were a little hot the other day right after we uh, captured them. Um, so, oh, just had one bounce off my hat. So this is a swarm that we caught, uh, well, it's literally a week ago today now. And they're thriving. Uh, there's a ton of bees coming in and out of there. They're just pulling in pollen resources and, and nectar and all sorts of stuff at a phenomenal rate. So I think they, uh, they took right to their hive. Probably should get them uh, another box on pretty soon too. Give them some space so they can do their thing. I'm very impressed with how quickly they're thriving. Um, but I guess that makes sense, given that uh, I'm pretty sure that both of these swarms came from that colony all the way over on the left that's just blowing up. So, good genetics uh, and good environment equals uh, good health and happiness. <clears throat> we'll go over here. I don't have any entrance restrictors on 
this newly captured swarm we just captured that day before yesterday this is the 15th of May that was the 13th of May and uh, they look like they're doing well too uh, I see pollen resources coming in see bees in and out and uh, they seem to have taken to their hive they seem to be happy with their box I would hope so uh, we gave them lots of drawn out comb plenty of propolis in that box and a frame of honey on each edge uh, I mean you know would you move out of a fully furnished home uh, with the cupboards full uh, for no reason I wouldn't <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick checkup on this nice warm day. It's probably 75 out already. Um, it's beautiful weather. And uh, I'm glad to see these colonies are thriving and doing well. And I think it's time to uh, get some boxes on here soon and uh, give these colonies some room to expand and uh, start making honey and drawing more comb out and doing their thing. We'll just have a quick look-see in this tree. <laughs> look at all that activity. I'm going to shut up for a minute so you can hear the hum. This tree is just full of, chock full of pollinators. I would say at least hundreds of honeybees. Let's see if I can find that branch here. There you go. At least hundreds of honeybees. Lots of uh, bumblebees. I'm sure there's other pollinators in there that I'm not necessarily seeing. But I hope you can see that. There's just bees everywhere in the air here. It almost looks like a swarm, but it's not. They're just working hard in this beautiful weather, this beautiful flowering tree open. They're probably even more excited than I am for warm weather. And it would be hard to beat me in my excitement for warm weather this year. I'm super stoked. But I think they got a wing up on me in that regard. take a look at the apple and the crab apple. So here we are at the old apple tree and I would say we still got flowers that came through that didn't get damaged by the frost so that's fantastic news. And those look like they did take some damage. I don't think those are gone by. I think those are frost damage. So for those who don't know what frost damage looks like let you have a look at that. You can see how those edges of those flowers look burned back. And you'll see that on leaves too when they're frost damaged. And this tree is a little quieter than that big flowering, uh, I think it's a flowering wild cherry or something. But there are pollinators in it. I did see some bubble bees. You know, I saw a couple honey bees. There's some, but not as much as up in that tree right next to the hives. Hey, if you didn't have to travel as far, would you? Let's look at that crab apple. Yeah, this is starting to uh, go by some of the flower. Also, it took a little frost damage too. You can see some of the edges of these flowers have a little frost damage, but 
lots of uh, plenty of flowers that are open and okay. <coughs> I'll shut up for a minute here so you can. Try this again. Hope you can hear the hum. Oh, the honeybees are up. Quite high, so it's hard to uh, hard to get a close up on them today. But rest assured, there are lots of honeybees in this tree, and wild pollinators as well. All right, I won't bore you with hours of flowering trees. Preparations have begun for planting. 82 degrees today. Almost six o'clock. Just a quick evening shot. What's this little chain we got hanging off here? This little cluster. Hmm. It's like bearding, but in a weird spot. I don't know, but it's been a great work day for the bees, and they're not done yet. Look at all that traffic coming back in on this big hive. And that first swarm capture hive is pretty cranking too. Actually, so is the second one, considering it was just captured a couple days ago. Okay.